Last Resort is an interactive sci-fi comedy set 1,000 years in the future. Water on Earth has dried up and what little remains is polluted and undrinkable. The people of Earth have evacuated and the desperate need for water divides humanity and drives them to the stars to search for any hope of survival. What follows is a Wild West-like anarchy as people begin to make themselves at home in the final frontier. My name is Heather Oliver and I am playing Stella. All right, we have exactly 40 passengers aboard this ship and they all learn how to fly in space if you so much as touch this ship. Stella is a futuristic pirate and she's the pistol-wielding hothead. Weapon detected. Oh, that's enough, Miss Monotone. Shut it down or your motherboard gets it. She has a bit of a temper. My name is Adam Macias, and I play River Spears. Here, here. No, 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 not a single drop. I'm not losing a single drop of what I can sell this for. No, 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 no. I'm going to be sticking to my cactus juice. This character, River Spears, who lives a thousand years in the future and has to drink cactus juice in order to survive and wants to sell water and does, probably doesn't really know the taste of water, let alone, you know, you know, cherishes what a shower is. And... I'm the captain. Negative. <laughs> Mac, I'm gonna need your head on this. <laughs> Mac. Negative. Mac, shut it down. <laughs> My name is Whitney Tenney and I play Maya and Maya is the cruise director for the tributary, which is the Galactic cruise ship to the last resort. My name is Kate Harmon, and I play Steery. Steery, please introduce yourself. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steery, and what a pleasure it is for me to serve you. I don't want to brag, but I'm the spaceship. It's one of the best characters I've ever played because I am a robot. A faster route has been discovered. Would you like me to board to the nearest safe zone? My name is Mark Peterson, and I play Mac in Last Resort. Mac is the tech guy extraordinaire, master hacker, gamer, and goofball buddy. We're talking smack and P.S. Don't come back, Jack. We need to get back. Mac, smack, hack. He's the the one that helps get you out of sticky situations because he's got the know-how. But he's also a bit of a goon and doesn't always make the cleanest work of it. It's terrifying. They're just, they're mean. And they fly self-replicating drones. They can't die. They can't die. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Heather Phipps, and I am the writer and director of The Last Resort. I think for me, this show is a big part of me and how I feel about the world that I've been wanting to share with others. Um, I'm from Big Bear originally, and um, if you know about Big Bear, there's a big, beautiful lake up there that exists. And over the course of, I would say the past 10 years, I have visually watched it turn from this giant, beautiful lake into this small, um, depleted source of water up there. We're in a real crisis right now. We really, really need to reevaluate how we interact with water as a society. You see the show and you see these people and it is funny and you do relate to them and maybe you take a little piece of that away with you and maybe Stella is in your head when you're brushing your teeth and telling you to turn off the water. I would honestly like the people who see the show to walk out and just kind of take in the world around them and kind of appreciate how lucky we are to be where we are right now. It's still important to, to take the extra time, the extra effort, to analyze your decisions, analyze why you are, why you are using things that are not easily replaceable. We live on a beautiful planet and we have to take care of it. Um, and I'm not one to really shove that opinion down people's throats necessarily, but I do want to talk about it and for me I, I use humor as a way to kind of share how I'm really feeling and so I wrote The Last Resort as this funny total throwback to every sci-fi thing you've ever seen, Star Wars, Star Trek. I would say it's a light-hearted play with a important message. Uh, guys, what? 
Receiving a transmission from Uranus. We're receiving a transmission. We're receiving a transmission from Uranus. You don't say. <laughs> like star tours in a show and get on board come with us travel the galaxy and tell our holograms what to do we have an interactive element of the show probably the only show where we're not gonna say hey turn off your cell phone when you sit down we're gonna say hey get out your cell phone and please vote because um, we need it to keep the show going people should come see the show because it's just a blast and it's really fun to watch us all have fun it's presented in the most um, awesome way possible. <laughs> and that's it! <laughs>